I am Zach Cowan, the author of the Study Daily Books, and thanks for joining me to study Doctrine and Covenants section four. Let's just imagine and pretend for a moment that you have never studied section four. You've never seen it. Missionaries don't memorize it. You don't know anything about it. And so President Joseph Fielding Smith said this, that section four contains a sufficient amount of counsel for a lifetime of study, and no one has ever mastered it before. Oh, whoa, that's an incredible quote. Just with that background, what kinds of stuff would you imagine would be contained in this section? Like, what? How big would it be? Thus, it's kind of surprising when people open up and look at it. Then it's only seven verses, and it's incredible. It's given to Joseph Smith's father after Joseph Smith lost the plates. His parents were worried and uh, to come and see him, and they come and see him, and he's Joseph's excited. The plates have been given back to him. He's got the Aram and Thummim. He and Emma are slowly translating a little bit. Joseph's learning how to do that. So his father comes back on a second visit. When he's there, he says, Joseph, what can I do in, in God's work? What's my role to play in all of this? And he gets section four. In verse one, the Lord tells Joseph Smith Sr. and anybody who wants to be involved in the Lord's work this, behold, a marvelous work is about to come forth among the children of men. Well, like any work or trade, there are significant prerequisites that need to be read or met in order to do that. If you want to be a doctor, you've got to go to school to do this. But if you want to work in concrete, well, you've got to have the skills and have learned how to, how to work with this, how to put up forms and how to mix and all of this stuff. There's always things that you have to know. And these are the things that a person needs to know if they want to be engaged in God's work. So go ahead and pause your video and check out verses two through seven in section four and look for what are the essential elements and to do if a person wants to be involved in the Lord's work. Hey, welcome back. All right, what did you find? What are the things that the Lord expects of those who want to be involved in this great work? Did it surprise you that the Lord didn't list any skills or abilities, but instead only characteristics? That's really interesting that he does that. And as we start looking at those things, why are each one of those things essential? You might even want to consider some of these questions. Who are our two or three people that you really love and admire that have helped you in your life? And which of those abilities and attributes, or which of those attributes listed in this section, did they demonstrate? In what way uh, have you seen Jesus Christ sufficiently demonstrate any one of these characteristics in his life and live them and show us how to properly do it. This is, this is an interesting one because he even tells us like, all right, look, your life would be different if you lived these. But not only that, imagine this, if you really started to live the different characteristics in and like these became a part of you, not only would your life be different, but just pick any one of these attitudes. How would the life of your family and your friends and the people you work with, how would their life be changed if you could have this attitude more focused and more in your life? It changes all kinds of stuff. Now, very humbly, what the Lord is telling us, yeah, without telling us this is, look, if you want to do the work of the Lord, you have to become like the Lord. This list of characteristics, these are the very things that make up the Lord and cause him to be what he's supposed to be. Check out the blessings that are promised to those who give their all to this work in verses two and four. Why are those the blessings that come? And finally, look at verse seven. How do you get this? It seems like if you wanna pick one of these and start working on it, there's a very easy thing. Whenever I read this section, I think of a quote by Neil A. Maxwell, that God doesn't ask us about our ability, but about our availability. And when we prove our dependability, he increases our capability. All right. Thanks for studying. Uh, go out and improve so that we can do the things God's asked us to do.